So a pleasant morning station, everyone. Um, I'm Rona Jen Jerusalem Sabanal, the chief reporter of our group. And now we're going to tackle about lesson four. And But before talking that, uh, because the first reporter tackled about science education in the Philippines, we saw about that uh, the Philippines is trying their best to to improve or to improve the state of education here in the Philippines. That is why, as what we finally heard before uh, from the first reporter, they said that they established different schools just like the just like the science high school that we are familiar with. So this is why that way they can enhance and nurture those students, especially those gifted um, gifted students who have potential in the field of science. But here in lesson four, we are we are talking about indigenous. We are talking about indigenous science and technology in the Philippines, and uh, and I will be going to uh, do the introduction and uh, explain the indigenous knowledge indigenous knowledge system and why is it indigenous knowledge system is the foundation of indigenous science. So so let's uh, without further ado, let's start. So as you can see in the TV screen, so uh, this is the this will sum up the whole report of last report. So so here you can see that indigenous science is part of indigenous knowledge system and practiced by indigenous people and early civilization. That, that way they can cope with the changing environment. So here we can say we can definitely understand by this just by this illustration because here we can uh, indigenous without the indigenous knowledge system there will be no there will be no indigenous science because indigenous knowledge system from what I said that it is um, it is the foundation of indigenous science it, because indigenous knowledge system it is the it is about the views of about nature and the reflection of experiences of, of their daily life and indigenous science it is the knowledge because as what I said, it is the the, the the foundation. So it is the knowledge about the indigenous knowledge system. So, and without the indigenous science, indigenous people and early civilization cannot practice it. So just like what I, uh, just like what um, here in the next slide, that the Pandawi rice terrace is, or we commonly uh, hold, or we are familiar with the Hagdan Hagdan Palaya in Filipino. So Hagdan Hagdan Palaya, so just like what I, said here that the indigenous science, without the indigenous science, there will be, uh, the indigenous people cannot practice it. So so with the indigenous knowledge system of the Ifugao people, because they created the Hagdan Hagdan Palayan, so before the indigenous created that, because they have the knowledge that if if the uh, if there will be a heavy rainfall before, so if there will be a heavy rainfall before, so the, all the essential soil or the topsoil will be flushed away. So their technique is to uh, to part the mountain of the Cordillera. So as you can see, it's like a stairs. So that way, uh, all the essential soil will, it, will not be flushed away. So that's their technique. So that's the indigenous knowledge system uh, and uh, the indigenous science that they apply or that the Ifugao people apply, uh, that they apply in real life situation. So, indigenous knowledge system. So, what is indigenous knowledge system? So, indigenous knowledge system is embedded in the cultural tradition of regional indigenous or local communities. And it is orally passed and evident in stories. Because from the word indigenous, it is native to the area. So, indigenous, so native knowledge system. So, from the word from what I said, that indigenous, uh, indigenous knowledge system, it is the view, uh, it is the views of, about nature and their reflection of their experiences in their daily life. So, so we can deny the fact that our culture will be intimately interwoven with our one, with our one, with our indigenous knowledge system. So, just like uh, what what we believe here in Pons of Boga del Norte, the Iloanan. So we believe that Iloanan uh, will find if we will be the one find. Na ma, ma, mahiluan. So we will use those fun in the medicine. So that's the, our indigenous knowledge system. So that way, so, so that's our indigenous knowledge system. That way, so our culture, that's our belief. So so that way, so it's really embedded in our cultural tradition. 
and this orally pa. So you can deny the fact also that um, and no, without noticing that kwan, just like our parents or lola or lola, they will kwan, they will talk us na uh, in wearing kwan, those kwan, bracelets so kwan, to avoid those you know, and then, so just like that so oh, so we can kwan, we can know that without noticing so they transmit their knowledge or their indigenous knowledge system through us so so that way so it's really kwan, it's really effective way of transmitting knowledge and evident in stories, poems, and songs. So you can hear it from poems, so stories, and songs. So, examples of indigenous knowledge that are taught and practiced by the indigenous people are. But before proceeding to the example of indigenous knowledge that are taught and practiced by the indigenous people, let's talk about what is, who are these indigenous people? Indigenous people, indigenous people are those a group of people who share common bands of language, custom, and tradition, or other cultural distinctive traits. So here is the uh, the bar There are the there are various indigenous Filipino ethnic groups and tribes in the Philippines, and one of this is the Ati Bajau Iber Ilongos Lumais Mangyan, the greatest of Luzon, Palawan tribes, Mando. And the next slide will be the picture of those tribes, like in Luzon. So in Luzon, the example of the, what this is one of those ones, those tribes in Luzon. The Ipugao, the Bukala, or Ilongos, the Negritos, and Ati. And the next is in Visayas. This is also one of those fun tribes. Ati Atian and Dumando. And lastly, in Mindanao, the Dumai and Bajau, we can we commonly uh, we frequently see those Pan Bajau uh, uh, Bajau people here in Pan Katipunan. So we uh, we already know th this kind of tribe. So here, proceeding the example of indigenous knowledge that are taught and practiced by the indigenous people. Are. So what are uh, what are those Pan examples that are taught and and practiced by the indigenous people. So the first one is um, the first one is protecting weather conditions and season using knowledge in observing animals' behavior and celestial body. So here is the poem killing or in English the storm of the healing. So shining moon with a rainbow and or inserting her a body led a red sunset. So as you can see in the TV screen, uh, the picture of that's the shining moon with the rainbow and certainly. So based up, uh, they believe that uh, they believe that if if that phenomena will happen, they believe that there will be a great storm will come. So, but in science, uh, if that one also in that bloody red sunset. But in science, um, that it happened because of the uh, moon, uh, uh, the light of the moon that uh, passes through passes through the thin layer of the um, circumferal uh, uh, clouds that are in the atmosphere. So that so it uh, it it uh, that's why the shining uh, the shining of the moon with a rainbow is certainly. And the next next to it is the bloody red sunset. It happened, but based on the science, it but it happened because of the high concentration that the sun emits. So it happens that. Uh, it in uh, it reflects in, in a red mong sa red bloody sunset. Okay, it will be fun when the high concentration of dust particle of uh, when the sun will emit will uh, will emit high concentration of dust particle. So that's will look fun. It will come out. So this one, this the uh, at this the uh, at this. At uh, this time, uh, this is their plan basis or their guide when there's when there uh, when there is a storm come. So that this is the example of a celestial bodies. They're observing the celestial bodies. Next to is is the Hasili fish, and so from what I said earlier that they observe animals, not just celestial bodies but also animals. So. One of it is the Kasili mythical or mythical fish. It is commonly called, uh, uh, it, it is originated in um, Japan, uh, Japan. But for us to uh, to better understand, I have an example here in the, which happened before the, the, the orfish, 
that we call that the that the news reported that uh, um, a few years, uh, I think a few years, that it reported about the Orphis. Now, uh, uh, it happened also in Rojas at Katipunan. When the Orphis is reported by Gandhi Gesp, and a lot of well, a lot of broadcasting news got reported that the Orphis, because they think, from what I heard from our neighbor, they said that if that kind of that kind of news will will come out, they will the they will. Uh, Expect that, that there will be a landslide, so an earthquake. There will be an earthquake. So because and from what I know, uh, Orpheus is the longest bony fish, and it is uh, longest bony fish around the world, and it is recorded in the on the Guinness Book of the World Record. And next to it is during New Year when the power force eat grass, whale it means trout, the trout. So here, so when there is panda, when there is when a horse, uh, when a horse and cow will wail. So wail is a high pitch of pun, a low, prolonged high pitch of cry due to sadness or pain. So when when the cow horse did that, so they it, it means there will be a drought or tagtoyot. So next is when the goats repeatedly wail, there will be mudslides. So it opposite with the pun, with the cow or horse. Yeah, because when the ghosts are going to be waved, so it means there will be a landslide. Second is using herbal medicine. So 100, 114 plants used by Kabamians. So here are the uh, this are these two women are called our Mangyan, uh, Mangyan people. So here the Rivular is Anina Fuok. So here is the one we commonly known as Kwan, Anina, uh, when we, uh, when our Kwan doctor, or Binisaya, kung magpabinisaya tao, we, we Kwan mo doon ita sa Herbularius. So this Herbularius, until now, we are Kwan, we are, though the indigenous people before, they are indigenous people before, they apply that kind of Kwan, treating, uh, treating, uh, Treating uh, cause sickness, and until now we are called, we are using that kind of technique. I uh, using that kind of technique, just like this one, just like this one. Anino, this plant anino, uh, this plant anino is called here. That uh, that leaves of anino will find will cure common colds, and her uh, that one that and um, while this one while while the fruit. Well, it's fruit they will cause will cure cancer, and the next is two o. So it is uh, in English it is uh, steam innovation now uh, in which the water vapor can especially if you feel fun, you feel uh, sinus infection or uh, you feel the symptoms of common cold. So you will do the one, you will do the and um, and next thing is. Preserving foods. So preserving foods, it extends it, it extends the lifespan of a food. So here is one of the example is the the eta, which is the delicacy of the native one, uh, native um, Cordillera uh, Cordillera administrative region. So this is the one of their con delicacy. So this kind of technique is they cured the the meat by putting salt and uh, drying it, uh, drying it in uh, through the side, or they when uh, they smoke it for for that fun kind of meat will fun uh, will, will be preserved. Fourth is classi uh, classifying plants and animals into families and their base and cultural properties, uh, just like the angiosperm, gymnosperm, worm, fish, mammal, and mammals, and others. So preserving and selecting good seeds for planting. So here are the plant fisheries. Next is next is using indigenous technology in daily lives, like the pottery baby. So that's a picture. Next to it is building local irrigation system. So until now we are using the, most of the farmers are using the 
Mexican local irrigation as we go on your we frequently see from the uh, one from those plant farmers. So we use uh, until now we use on uh, we use the on uh, local irrigation system. So before they use uh, they use when they move them to So yeah, so eight is classifying different types of soil for planting based on cultural properties. So next is Reducing wines and juices from tropical fruits. So that's picture. And then is keeping the custom of growing plants and vegetables in the yard. So that's all. Thank you. And the next reporter will be Khan. Will be maybe Miss May. What on Junita and me been up with?